Damn it, just spent seven and a half grand on a bloody house. Now I'm skint. Luckily, I know how to get the money back as quick as a quick thing. Time for a thieves cache speed run. Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back. Uh, this is just a quick video showing you uh, why you should always do the Thieves Guild storyline as soon as you can in the game. Uh, if you run out of cash, just do this and uh, you're back in funds again. And I just want to have a little chat while I'm doing so. Uh, let's crack on. And I'm uh, doing it solo uh, as a wrecking crew just get in the way and I kept on losing Cedric here in Mark Carf. So uh, for some weird reason, I, I could never find him. Just disappear. I could never find him again. Uh, but I'll pick him up for the um, last cache in Solstem. Anyway, let's crack on. I mean, it only seems like uh, a couple of months ago when I last did a video like this. Um, and I think it was from my 100 subscribers. Thank you, Vid. And uh, here we are, a few short months later, and I'm on 130 subscribers, 130 odd, I think. Um, so old PewDiePie is definitely looking over his shoulder now, I reckon. Anyway, uh, one of the reasons why I want to do this video as well is to let you know I'm not going to be uploading for uh, the next couple of weeks. It's, um, trust me, it's not because I have to go to some camp in the woods to find my spiritual and artistic centre. It's just a work thing. Um, we've got a whole load of projects starting up and I'm going to have to work longer hours and it's going to make it very difficult for me to do that and upload the videos. Um, and I'll tell you the way it really works. And I mean, at the moment, I kind of like work uh, with driving around about 11, 12 hours a day. You know, I've got a dog that has to be walked. And then I tend to record all my stuff on during the week. And then I edit it and everything on the weekends. Well, obviously, I won't be able to do that. I'll just be uh, too knackered. So, uh, yeah, it's just a work thing. So, hopefully, don't think I'm gone. And, um, and it's, like I say, it's not one of those... Oh, I'm tired, man. I've just got to find myself. It's just purely a work thing. So don't unsubscribe, okay? Remember that? Don't unsubscribe. Actually, talking about subscriptions, um, I don't know if many of you actually get notifications of my videos uh, in your uh, timeline. I understand people don't with the new YouTube changes. Um, so it's kind of important for those that obviously want to see my videos regularly. Uh, I don't know why you would, but maybe some of you do. Um, press that bell. Um, otherwise you won't know or won't receive any notifications from YouTube. They're being very odd with content creators. Oops, I didn't keep on doing that. I don't know why I keep on doing that. Um, yeah, they're being very odd with creators at the moment. So uh, press that little bell, guys. Just press it. And also as well, you know, share my stuff around if you like it. You know, you think it's worth it, share it around. Um, it's the only way you can grow. Uh, again, with the YouTube changes, uh, they don't promote people like me, um, so people tend not to, to find me, hence uh, slow growth. Uh, it's either that or on crap, one or two. I like to think it's YouTube, not me. Anyway, here we are on White Run, my favourite city, near our new home. And uh, I haven't done this for bloody... I mean, I've got so much money, I've no need to do this. But seriously, guys, if you're a new player, do the Thieves Guild storyline uh, straight away. Uh, you get access to all these caches. There's 16 in all, uh, including the one in Solstim. And they, they'll pay for any house or any weapons you've got. And that means you don't really have to bother with the looting so much. Saying that, I've got... I've got so much stuff that I don't even bother selling, but I keep on losing. I just can't help myself. Okay. And I apologise for any clumsy video work at the moment. I've just gone and got myself a whole new setup. I've got uh, a Razor Taurus and I've got the uh, uh, the Razor Hex mouse. And uh, Taurus is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic little gamepad. Um, Really, really can't knock it at all. It's get one if you can afford it. If you're on a PC, just just get one. They're brilliant. Um, the mouse I'm struggling with. It just doesn't fit right in my hand at the moment. I'm so used to my Logitech mouse, and I've got to get used to the button layout, and I'm hitting the wrong buttons, and my my muscle memory's all over the shop. So it's going to take me some time to get 
Useless bloody thing. It cost me a fortune as well. It was like a, I think 90 quid, which is, um, a few Americans, that's 90 pounds in real money. I think that's about 110 pounds, I think. 110 dollars, sorry. 100 and maybe 20 dollars. Something like that, anyway, in, in your money. The wrong money. Anyway, as you can see, we're picking up loads of stuff, loads of Daedric daggers, uh, Daedric uh, uh, arrows and jewels and all sorts of lovely stuff. And here we go up into the barracks. I'm surprised I can still remember where all these caches are actually. Like I said, I hadn't done this for ages. Oh, another thing as well is now I'm thinking. I'm thinking, and uh, you can leave any comments in the uh, uh, down below. But I've um, noticed I don't actually get a lot of chance to game, uh, as it were. Um, believe it or not, you you don't actually get much gaming time doing this. A, a little bit of the recording, and the rest of the time is all spent in editing and uh, thumbnails and blah 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 blah. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing and I'm still debating it, is where I've got a whole load of games in my Steam library where I might just do them blind, completely blind. So they're not going to be walkthroughs and stuff like that. You're going to see my raw gaming skill, which is crap. So uh, I thought that might be quite funny to watch someone make an absolute arse themselves um, on a show. So I've got uh, quite a few games I've, I've got... Um, well, one in particular that sticks sticking in my mind is Dishonored 2. Uh, apparently that's an excellent game. Uh, apparently it's meant to be buggy, uh, but apparently it's been patched. Uh, so it's, it's fine, but it comes really recommended. Uh, a friend of mine was telling me about it. So anyway, guys, I don't know if you think that's a good idea or not. Just, um, uh, yeah, yeah, you just have a blind through... Uh, uh, on, on, the, on the, all the games I have in my inventory. I, I don't know if that's what you'd be interested in watching. Um, so, there you go. Okay, right, then I've got to go to... Is it Nadra's shop? Anyway, the shop down here. And this is where you want to do your... Uh, your speechcraft training down here, guys. If you're a new player, you want to get your speech up to 50, get the merchant's perk. I've done a video in uh, in my tips for uh, new players, and if you haven't done that, get it. Seriously, it's the one thing that make your life a lot easier. And I'll explain why in the video. And I think comes the last one in Windhelm. Okay, I'll go pick up the uh, wrecking crew, and then I'll head over to Solstim. Okay, I'll probably cut all that out. Uh, there was a drake went back to the uh, the new house, Tundra Homestead, and got attacked by a dragon. So I'll cut that out because it's not part of this uh, video. Anyway, guys, um, we're coming up to the end of this video. If you've got any comments about the channel at all, um, things you that I do that you like, or things indeed that I do that you don't like, please let me know. I really need your your criticisms. It really helps me. Honestly, it, it genuinely helps. Uh, be nice about it, obviously, but, uh, you know, let me know your thoughts. Also, if you have any ideas and stuff that you would like me to do, um, I would love to hear from you guys. It's, uh, it's sometimes going to be difficult. Should I do this? What do people want? It's, I, I'm not a mind reader, so I would love to hear from you. Okay. Are you meant to get another... Um, is it Exquisite Sapphire? The one we gave to Sapphire down in the... Or oh, another letter, sorry, to give to Sapphire, so you get another Sapphire uh, from her, and I've never found that. Maybe it was patched in the unofficial patch. In fact, I don't even know where I put that. I haven't got a clue. It's worth something like 6,000 gold. I put it somewhere, oh, who cares? I'm rich. Doesn't bother us. What's wrong with who? She's odd. 
Okay, uh, we're coming up to the end of the video. I think I'll probably pop up and have a look at my house up here. I'm going to be doing uh, a new series on um, player homes, that being include the vanilla ones and player mods that I like. So I'm not going to just be doing any old um, uh, videos, it's just the mods that I like. Uh, and I may actually do, uh, including that, just, just mods in general that I use. So uh, hopefully, let's see what we did. Okay, we got we got 13, I think, uh, daggers, plus loads of jewels, daedric arrows, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I, I, I maybe think they're all the thoughts that are rumbling around my head. So this is kind of a rambling video. Um, hope you enjoyed it, guys. And whatever you do, do the Thieves Guild storyline. Complete it, and you can do this every 10 days. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.